If having the games in China finally rallies the world to confront China on their atrocities and hold it responsible, fine. Otherwise, perhaps shame on us. Chris Hahn is host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast, an Olympic enthusiast, and joins us well. Uh, Chris, give it, since you've been watching the Olympics uh, on NBC, understood, give them a grade on talking about the problems of China and the Chinese atrocities. I have not heard it at all. Uh, and I've watched hours of Olympic coverage. So oh. you make an excellent point there. I, I, I am not watching these games because I enjoy China. I'm watching these games because I enjoy watching excellent people who have dedicated their lives to sport compete at the highest level. And I think it's been amazing in a lot of ways. But I hear what you're saying. You're absolutely right. China has committed tremendous atrocities that the world continues to ignore, not just during the Olympics, but when we buy our iPhones and other smartphones that are produced in China. We can't, quite frankly, live without Chinese no. products right now in the United States of America. So we all have a responsibility to this, not just the networks uh, doing this and athletes who decide to compete for them. I mean, Elaine Gu, uh, it, it, what's ironic about Elaine Gu, she's the best in the world at what she does. I watched her win yesterday. She's an amazing athlete. But the decision she made was a purely capitalistic decision. <laughs> she could make more money competing yeah. for communist China. And she has. And, you know, I don't hold that against her. Look, for years, people would compete for another country because they couldn't make the U.S. Olympic squad. What's different about her is she's the best in the world at what she does. Hold on, though. Isn't there something a little bit different? This was her quote. I'm not trying to solve political problems right now, and I'm aware that I'm not able to do everything I want to do in this exact moment. She made a decision to to wear the flag of a country that's committing the worst genocide since the Nazis simply to make money, that's, that's, a, yeah. that's a different, that, that is a moral decision. No. When you, I, when you, know, when I, you sell out, I, how do you wear the flag I, of a country and not support them? I, I, I'm going to disagree with you. She made a decision as a capitalist American to sell in China something that right now CEOs and boardrooms around this country are making the same exact decision. So why hold her to a higher standard at 18 years of age? Hey, you want to make $100 million? You want to make a $1 million? Chris, she wanted to make $100 million. Yeah, no, so I, let's let her do that. Evidently, you haven't been watching the show because we call out the CEOs all the time of all these companies and put their faces up. I know you do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, this is the, the CEOs of major corporations have a fiduciary duty to their stockholders. And we, Lord knows, we talk about LeBron James a lot here. But who better, yeah. who better than an idealistic teenager to stand up and make a moral stand and say, I am not going to wear the flag of a country that's committing genocide? It really, in 1936, if there were Americans who went over and wore the German flag and competed for Germany in the 1936 Berlin Olympics, you wouldn't sit here later on and say, shame on them? Yeah, I would. I would. But you know what? Here's so the thing. So why is Elaine she's 18 different? Years old. She's 18 years old, and she made it, she's been very clear about why she made this decision. So, so it how, was a how financial old, how old opportunity. Are you, how old are you that your morals have to then trump your financial inducements? At 22? Well, that's a good be, question. At, I mean, at 22 I, I, or look, 28? I mean, the, 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 question, the question of what, how old you have to be in these Olympics has been a big one. I mean, that skater no, no, from no, Russia. No, no, no. And what I'm saying you know, is, you, you keep, I, hold on. You keep right. saying she's 18 years old as if at 22, then making millions to wear the flag of a, gine, of a genocide committing country I, would not, what, no what longer I, be acceptable. What, look, what I am saying is simple. Either we're all wrong from buying our iPhone or buying our TV set made in China. Or, or, or we're all right, right? How am I buying an iPhone different from Elaine Gu selling iPhones in uh, China? So I, I'm just saying here, the moralistic argument that we all walk, we're all to blame yeah. for looking the other way to China. I'm not gonna put more blame on Elaine Gu. Elaine Gu is somebody who has committed herself to sport, to comp competing, who is by far and away, if you watched last night, the far and away, the she, best in the hey, world at what she does at the, at the age of 18. So I'm not going to put more of a burden on her than I'm going to put on a McDonald's or Apple or okay. Amazon or anywhere else that's selling in, in China. I'm not going to do that. You know what, Chris? I've said it before. You have the last word. And boy, <laughs> if I ever need a defense attorney or a spokesman, you're my guy. <laughs> have a great weekend. Hey, I'm happy. I'm there for you. <laughs> I, I know you would be. You're a good friend. I'll see you soon.
Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.